back to the scriptures. God bless you, Dr. LaFavor. It's good to be in the Word of God along with you again Amen. today. And I know we got some waiting hearts or just as anxious as I am to get into the Word of God because everything that we need, it is in the Word. It is a saying, but it is a true saying. Amen. The Holy Scriptures, as they are in the Bible, is the most powerful gift given to mankind. They are treasure, Doctor. They are proven the Word of God will work. In these ancient scriptures is the answer to our life today and for the life to come. Amen, Pastor. The scriptures are divinely inspired by God. But in order for the Holy Scriptures to affect change, the Word of God has to be rightly divided. And then when it's rightly divided, you have to take it in. You have to take it in. You have to receive it. And when we do that, the Word of God will work. You can see the change take place in your own life. When you see change come, personality being changed, your ways being changed, feeling different, thinking different, you know the Word is working. That is your proof. It's in the Bible. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 from the Contemporary English Version. The Bible says everything in the Scriptures is God's Word. All of it is useful for teaching, helping people, and for correcting them and showing them how to live. Amen. Take it all in. Now don't, don't discount any of it. Take it all in. It is something to be learned from every scripture in the Bible. There are some things we are to do and some lessons. Uh, it gives us the knowledge and what we should not do. Amen. So we want to welcome all of you to the Universal Christian Church of Christ. I am Dr. Charles LeFavre. I'm here with our senior pastor, Pastor James LeFavre the senior pastor of the Universal Christian Church of Christ of 40 plus years, changing lives with the teaching and preaching of God's word. It's all a blessing. Amen. The topic of our message today is hope in the pandemic. Hope mm -hmm. in the pandemic. Good subject. Good subject. Yes. Our key verse comes from Psalms chapter 42, verse 5 from the King James Version. The Bible says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul. Mm -hmm. And why art thou disquieted in me? We're going to find out, doctor, uh, how can a person uh, make that kind of statement? And why would he make that mm -hmm. statement in the midst of turbulent times, uh, in the times of trouble, mm -hmm. worry, and anxiety? Uh, he makes a statement like that. But as we get into the word, uh, we're going to see uh, 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 this is what can come out of the heart of a person who knows God uh, on a deep level. The circumstance and the situation won't change them. Praise God. He goes on to say, hope thou in God, mm -hmm. for I shall yet praise him mm -hmm. for the help of his countenance. He's going to praise him anyhow. In today's message, we will meet someone who experienced pain, mm -hmm. sadness, discouragement, mm -hmm. even ridicule from others. Yes. He had many reasons to be discouraged for what he had endured. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of his despair, he said to those downcast and discouraged feelings, hope in God. It's a good thing to listen to a man like this. Amen. He will come through again because he has come through before. Mm -hmm. Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. Mm -hmm. Pastor, I love this quote. In his discouragement, yes. the psalmist spoke to himself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to talk to ourselves. Perhaps he even preached to himself. Yeah. He didn't feel filled with praise, praise at the moment. Praise God. Yet... He was confident that as he did what he could to direct his hope in God, that praise would come forth. What you say, yes. I don't feel like praising him now, mm -hmm. but he is worthy of praise my hope. God. He, he knew he was. He wasn't going to go by his feelings. Yes. He said, I don't feel like praising him now, but he is worthy of my hope mm -hmm. and I shall yet praise him. Our first reading will come. From you know, doctor, that must have been a seed in that man's heart. It Amen. was a seed of faith 
And we're going to capture that. We're going to pull something out of that uh, song and that testimony and apply it to our own life. In our text today, Psalm chapter 42, verse 1 through 8, the scripture says, As the deer longs for streams mm -hmm. of water, Praise God. so I long for you, O God. Mm -hmm. I thirst for God, the living God. Praise God. When can I go and stand before him? Mm -hmm. Day and night, I have only tears for food. Mm. While my enemies continually taunt me, saying, where is this God of yours? Mm -hmm. My heart is breaking as I remember how it mm -hmm. used to be. He is telling us about his experience. I walked among the crowds of worship, leading a great procession to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. You know, sometimes, Doctor, we have to look back uh, in the midst of our struggles and, and think about what God has already done. Amen. And that is what the, this man is doing here. And it, and it teaches us, it nurtures our souls because uh, things get hard sometimes. Uh, uh, we, we all be tested, tried. It is not based on the fact whether we saved or uh, unsaved, but tests and trials uh, come to everybody. But I think the people who are going through, perhaps people even in nursing homes, on sick bed, people who are experiencing light, when they can look back what God has already done, God. I can see uh, how a person can still have joy Amen. and praise the Lord. But that's just that. something we have to perfect. We have to perfect it. Yes. The psalmist goes on to say in verse 5, our key verse. Praise God. Why am I discouraged? Mm -hmm. Why is my heart so sad? Yeah, he knew, but he just wanted to ask himself the question because he recognized what he had gone through. And, and he just really uh, just talking to himself. He just doing a little bit of self-talk. Praise, Praise God. God. He goes on to say, I will put my hope in God. Mm -hmm. I will praise him again. Mm -hmm. My Savior and my God. You know what he's saying, daughter? He said, no matter what I'm going through, uh, I'm, I am still going to worship and praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He says, now I am deeply discouraged. Mm -hmm. But I will remember hey, you. Everybody get discouraged sometimes. You know, we wouldn't be human if, if we say that we never get discouraged. You will get discouraged. You will feel down. We are emotional beings. We are bastards. But God gives us, and, and when we can we can look to the hills from which comes our help and focus on our God, that it lifts us Praise up. Praise God. It lifts us up. And um, it brings joy. Thank you. Uh, to our hearts. So that's why we got to keep on taking in the word. Amen. We have to keep on praying. Keep on pressing on. Keep on building ourselves up on the inside. Because we know trouble comes. Trouble comes to everybody. Amen. Yes, absolutely. All down through the Bible. It came to Job. It did. It came to the prophets. And it still come. It, it came to come. Jesus it came. more than anybody else. Yes, it did, Pastor. Praise God. The psalmist says, now I'm deeply discouraged, but I will remember you even from distant Mount Hermon, the source mm, of the Jordan, mm. from the land of Mount my Miser. My God, my God. He goes on to say, I hear the tumult of this raging seas mm. as your waves of surging tide sweep over me. Praise God, the storm may ride, the winds may be blown. I may toss and turn, but I'm still going to trust in God. That's what he's saying. I'm still Lord, going to magnify, magnify the, Lord. the Lord. I will yet bless the Lord. And this is, this is true religion. This is real Christianity. Amen. This is what it means to be born again. But we have to kind of learn a few things uh, before we can... But this is our goal. Amen. We all want a testimony like this. Praise so God. We, all, we are encouraged. Amen. And even in this man's discouragement, we are encouraged. Yes, we are. Yeah, absolutely. Because we suffer. We have pain. We have tests. We have trials. But we've got to still keep on going on. And we want to keep on going. 
Praise God. Mm -hmm. Verse 8 says, but each day mm -hmm. the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me. Mm -hmm. And through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. You know what I mean? That is trusting in God. That is faith in action. Amen. Uh, that is, I'm going to bless the Lord at all, all times. times. And I'm going to rejoice in the Lord at all ways. So this man, heart is fixed. His mind is made Praise up. God. He is so deep uh, in the truth and so connected till this has become a natural part of him. Praise God. And this is what all Christians ascribe to. And, and I've seen some people like that. Amen. I've seen some people who still had joy and, and, and were still able to love and, and magnify the Lord uh, uh, in their deepest trials Praise and God. situations. I've seen it. Amen. But this is something that we all should ascribe to. We should all work for. Amen. That we'll be able to hold on and stand up. And, and and talk to ourselves and said, I'm going to rejoice in God because it really, that's the only thing that we're going to find satisfaction Amen. in. You, we, there's nothing else on the face of this earth that we can get satisfaction in. Praise How God. can you have real satisfaction in the midst of a pandemic when you can't go out the door? You got to be on the inside when you got to wear a mask all the time. When when all these things are going Praise on, God. you know it. There's somebody cough on you. You know what may happen. You don't know who got it. You don't know who who, who you know who who don't have it. You you know you you don't know. There's no cure. There's mm. no nothing. Praise so God. how can you still uh, rejoice and be hopeful? Uh, we can we can be hopeful if we. Uh, continue to have God, God to nurture our soul. Amen. And we keep on uh, perfecting this type of praise because, uh, you know, we can't get into satisfaction. Once we really learn that that you can't get less than satisfaction, uh, nothing else in this world. Praise That's God. why that was an old record made a long time ago. Long, long time ago that I heard the song and, and they still sing it. I can't get no satisfaction. Praise God. The man had a lot of money, a lot of fame, but he but said, he, I can't get no satisfaction. Get no satisfaction. But the psalmist found some satisfaction Amen. here. Praise this God. sermon is about hoping and trusting in God yes. in the face of this pandemic. That's what it's about. And who wouldn't want to tune in to something like this and, and take this Holy is a man testimony. Praise God. As the psalmist trusted and waited on God in expectant hope, mm -hmm. we must also wait on God mm -hmm. to renew our strength. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's in the Bible, Pastor. It's there. In Psalm chapter 40, in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 from the New International Version, mm -hmm. the Bible says, mm -hmm. but those who hope in the Lord... Mm -hmm will renew their strength. They will, yeah. They will soar on the wings like eagles. So that means if we keep on hoping in God, if we can still have the faith in the truck, then then we, we're going to be renewed. We're going we're gonna to find strength. Uh, uh, we're going we gonna to become more invigorated. We will become more uplifting Praise if God. we just keep, if we don't lose hope. Because hope is one of the greatest gifts. Amen. It is. Yes. So that's what we, what we want. We want to make sure that we just keep uh, trusting in God enough that we would know that we have lasting hope. Praise God. The prophet goes on to say, they will run mm -hmm. and not grow weary. Mm -hmm. They will walk and not be faint. Amen. The facts of this message is that when we turn to God by faith, he will help us face the daily challenges of life. That makes sense. That makes sense. And and, I, and to everyone out there, young people, oh, everybody, let us learn how to turn to God, turn to him in Amen. faith now, in faith, believe in him and trust in him, him, work for him, loving people, reaching out. Then you're going to see that God is going to help us. Amen. That is a fact. That's, that's proven. Pastor, our wisdom verse, it comes from Psalm chapter 27, verse 13 through 14. The psalmist said these words. Mm -hmm. You see, I had fainted mm -hmm. unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, I've, I felt that myself I, I, early on in my life when I was really trying to find meaning and purpose 
for, for my life and want to try to find a life partner to be able to have a, a great relationship and, and for life to make some meaning Amen. and seem like everything I I tried, uh, this kind of, of, of um, uh, outcome mm. uh, didn't seem to be possible. But you know, one day when I was able to put a little bit more faith in God, it increased it my strength because I would have fainted. Praise God. If it had not been for that. Amen. And faint, it don't mean that you just fall down and faint, but it means that you'll give up and you'll go back in the world and you'll keep on Praise looking God. to try to find peace in a place Amen. where there that is, is no, peace. no peace. And that's what happens to, to people when, when we don't really learn how to really trust God and step out on his word and become a follower of him, we will faint. Amen. Every time you, you see broken home, broken marriage, broken relationship, uh, people giving in to drugs, people giving in to alcohol, they have fainted. Praise God. Huh? Praise God. And when you see people keep on uh, just falling after the ways of the world, Amen. living and talking like the world, then, then you know, they have fainted. Uh, many times, you know, people put on a great mask and you won't even know what's going on, you, you know, you know, in their life, but behind closed doors. Praise God. Huh? A lot of things points out Amen. that they have fainted. Amen. Too many people are fainting and falling by the wayside because they have nothing uh, to hold on Praise to. Praise God. Amen. That is a fact. The psalmist goes on to say, Pastor, mm -hmm. say, wait on the Lord. Wait on him. You know, you know. somebody say, it, it's true to him. He may not come when you want him, but he ran on, right time. on time. I take him, any time he come. Because when you're going through hell and high water and all hell is breaking loose and nothing is, is working for you and, and all these things we're faced with that beyond anybody's ability to do anything for. Like right now, all we can do is wait on the oh, Lord. Lord. Huh? Praise God. That's right all. now, in a world epidemic, mm. what else can we do but for waiting on the Lord? Amen. We got to wait on the Lord until He intervene and give our answer Praise to God. what we're going through. And He still works in man. He does. He still works in man. Amen. So in His own time. In His time. And then if we pray and, and we hang in there, Amen. then it could be quicker. Then, 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 then we think. Amen. Amen. But we got to wait on wait the Lord. On no the Lord. wait doing nothing now. You got to wait loving people, caring about people. You got to wait telling the truth. You got to wait being honest. You got to wait having integrity. Oh you have to wait worshiping God. Amen. You have to wait being fair. Being honest, Praise doing God. the right thing. That is what it means to wait on God. Praise God. Thank you, Pastor, for shedding light and giving us insight. Mm -hmm. Let us wait upon the Lord, children. The scripture goes on to say, be of good courage, mm -hmm. and he shall strengthen your hearts. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know what that means? That means to have expectation. Yes. To have expectation. You know, uh, it's kind of like uh, it's hope. Uh, it's, it's not quite a strong word as hope, but it is expectation. Amen. You know, expecting, expecting. For everything is going to turn out all right. Amen. It's going to turn out all right. You know, that's what it means by God will never leave us. Praise God. God will never forsake us. It, uh, it doesn't mean that everything going to turn out the way that you might want it to turn out, but it means that God is there. Praise God. In the midst of everything. Praise God. Yes, sir. He is Amen. there. Man, God is there in the face of what we're dealing with in this pandemic. And in Psalms chapter 42, mm -hmm. we're going to go back to this text. This psalm is a picture of a saint of God, Pastor. Yes, doctor. I think this is a mirror of a holy man. And the reason I say it is a good mirror because he tells us up front mm. what he is going to do, or what his reaction is toward God. Then later on in the psalm, he tells us what he, what he is going Amen. through. Praise God. So this is the picture here that we can get. So you, what, you know, I want to be like this. You know, I want to take this word on. I want to keep on doing what I need to do that, that I will be able to do and say in the midst of a pandemic, Amen. in the midst of a struggle, in the midst of a trial, then I want to have a testimony. Praise God. Like this. A testimony. Well, Pastor, as I read through this text, I want you to show us how to make application of this text in the face of this pandemic. All right. Let's read that first verse there, Doctor. From the New Living Translation, Psalm 42, verse 1. Follow along. 
as the deer longs for streams of water. You know, that's a picture, uh, what a great picture. This is like a deer that he's probably been running and somebody after him and he's so hot and he's so tired and then he would be so glad mm. to come to a cool stream of, of water. So uh, this is dealing with a, with a desire. This is something that you, that you want. And so, so this man uh, 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 had a desire Amen. to make connection God. with God, Amen. with the God of his creation, Thank with the God you. of his, his childhood. He had an intense desire to do that. So when we read this and study this, then we want to be able to increase our desire. What did he say? He says, as the deer longs for streams of water, mm -hmm. so I long for you, O oh God. You know what it is? That is a desire. That is a longing. But then, you know, how can we long for God? How can we long for God in the midst of, of all the trouble this man Amen. was going through and in the midst of what we are faced with right now? Uh, uh, how many people you are going to hear say, I'm longing for God? I'm longing for God. But in the midst of this man's struggle, uh, that's why that's what makes this so spiritual. And, and it got to be coming out the mind of a holy man. Now, even though this man uh, is questioning himself and, and even though he is depressed Amen. and even though he had anxiety, he had worry there. But at the same time, he had this great longing for God. Amen. But you can see that, that people do get down. They do get worried Amen. And, and wary, the things that we have to deal with and everything. But he said, you know. In this, I'm longing for God. Yes. Because he felt, he knew, which is true, that if he could connect with God, that God would nurture yes, his would. soul. Yes, he would. Uh, he would build him up while he was weak. Yes, huh? he would. He, he would do that for him. So he knew that. He knew it. Pastor. And he had that kind of relationship. So we have to be saved Amen. in order to have that kind of faith. He goes on to say in verse 2, Pastor, I thirst for God. Mm. The living God, when can I go mm -hmm. and stand before him? Now, doctor, you know what? Now, I know what it means in the B attitude when Jesus preached. The, that was one of the greatest Amen. messages in the Bible when he said hunger Amen. and thirst after righteousness. righteousness. Way back there, a thousand of years ago, this man was holy because that is exactly what was inside of him. Amen. And now we see, because you actually said, well, 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 how do we do that? Well, we got to learn. Praise God. We have to learn. And when I ask ourselves, well, how, how do we do this? How do we learn to really to to thirst and hunger, have an intense de desire, amen, for righteousness, to be right. To be right. Just want to be right. Amen. You know, somewhere along this road of life, we come to a point where we want to be right. Yes. And, and, you know, now I may have some people out there that they, no doubt that you have never tried Amen. Uh, what it means to want to be right. To be right. But I'm going to tell you what, that will be the answer to your life and to a better satisfaction and a better life yes. when we can learn to desire yes. to be right. Amen. Amen. But there is more work to do. There is something to do. We can talk about religion. We can quote scripture. Mm. We can give testimony. We can say all of these things. But we need to have a hunger, a hunger. and a thirst. thirst. For righteousness. for righteousness. And when we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we hunger for God. And you know what righteousness means? Amen. Righteousness means right thinking. Yes. Right thinking. God, bring me to a place. Help me to learn uh, how to think righteously. So can you picture that? Amen. Uh, of what more meaning life will take on and what a more blessing that we can be to humanity. And there are a lot of people out there too. They're being a blessing. Yes. Uh, don't take for granted the people out there who landed on the line yes. to love and to help other people. So God is working in people out there and we should not take it for granted Praise for God. those that Love the Lord and and they hunger and thirst for righteousness. Praise God. Amen. The psalmist he said in verse three, day and night, Pastor, 
I have only tears for food. Now, now he goes back now to tell us what he was going through. You know, you know, he said, I've been crying. I've been crying. He was a holy man. Just because you're holy don't mean that you won't cry. Amen. That you don't have to cry. But he tells us that. Look what a great statement he talked. He talked up front there that how he longed for God. But now here he's telling us what his life yes. has been like, Praise what God. the challenges he have had to deal with and everything. But and and he had to cry. Sometimes you have to cry. You have to, you have to cry sometimes. Now maybe you say I never cried. Yes, you did. You may not. Shed the tears on the outside, but you were crying on the inside. Praise I can tell you now. God. And then you know, and, and if when you're missing God, mm. we will, we 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 still crying. Yes. Amen. We're still crying. So we like we like this man. We have our troubles too. We, do. we have our troubles. We, we say, do. you know what? I want to connect with this man. Yes. You know, I'm like him. Yes. I have troubles in the midnight hour too. Praise God. The psalmist said, day and night. Mm. I have only tears for food mm. while my enemies continually taunt me saying mm. where is this God of yours? Now let us sympathize and empathize with the people out there. Maybe your situation might not be quite that uh, intense right now but things are still intense because anytime we got to stay in the house we can't go out the door, we can't do this we can't do that. It's still a pretty intense yes. situation but let us think about the suffering for those who are going through and those who are crying, for those who don't have the things that they need and somebody got to bring it to Praise them and, and give it to them. Let us empathize with that, with their suffering and their trials. Psalmist says, Pastor, my heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. You know what it is? You know, look, look, that's a good thing. His heart was breaking, but he remember uh, that was a time you know, you know, you know, when things were different, when he was able to go to church, he was he was leading the pack. Praise God. Huh? Even though he was a saved man, and he could have it could have been King David. You know, he it could have been the king leading the way, because that's how uh our quite great desire that he had to get to the house of God. Then you think about all, all those times where God blessed him and, and you know blessed him and, and the things came in and wasn't nobody running him well it wasn't nobody out there trying to bring him down you know he went through that season amen but you can stay you, you can go back and look at that so sometimes we gotta look back, and, go back and see you know and kind of you know rejoice on, on on what god has already done already done amen and thank him for what he's already done thank him for what he's already done the scripture goes on to say I walked among the crowds of worshipers, yeah. leading a great procession to the can house you, of God. Can you see it? Can you have the man leading the way? Pastor like, says, like, it's like, you know, we should want to lead the way. Hallelujah. And I think next time, when you know, people, when they get ready, get able to serve the Lord, go, you want to lead the way. Lead you want to lead, the, lead way. the way. Yeah, because that's, that's this, this connection. This is how much you love the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. It goes on to say he was singing for joy. Mm -hmm. He was giving thanks. And uh, he was, you know, talking about this time when he was singing the the the, the, uh, the uh, songs of Zion and God. worshiping and praise the Lord. So when things are not good, we don't want to forget about the time when we had a great testimony, Amen. when we were dancing and shouting or waving your hand, uh, saying yes, Lord, or whatever it is. Uh, let us still remember those times praise God. and uh, thank God for them. Amid the sounds of a great celebration. Mm -hmm. In our key verse, why am I discouraged? Mm -hmm. Why is my heart so sad? Mm -hmm. I will put my hope in God. Mm -hmm. I will praise him again. Okay. My Savior and my God. All right. I'm coming to a close, but I look back at that verse and say, he talked to himself. You know, talking to yourself is therapeutic, you know, just speaking to the inside yes. of, of yourself sometimes, just getting by yourself and just and just question your, yourself and, and and that kind of thing. And that's what, what these this man was doing. But, you know, he gives us great hope and we get great inspiration yes. from this man, this holy man that said, you know, no matter what, I am still going to rejoice. Now, look, I tell you, look so, look on the inside of me. Look at my mind. Yes. So now you can be uh, as troubled as you want. You can have as, as much he's saying. Now, you, you can have anxiety on the inside if you want. Trouble on the inside. Worry on, on, on the inside. But I'm still going to praise God. Praise God. I'm still going to worship God. 
Amen. No matter what I'm, what I'm going through. Amen. And this is our hope right there. That's our hope right there. Amen. No matter what, what's going on out there. Yeah, sure. This pandemic is challenging. It's a real challenge for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people out there, they have a whole lot to do with. And we got to always, we got to think about those people. Some may be, may be getting along a little bit better than others, but let's have empathy for those out there that 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 having to serve and, and take care of people and reach out to people Praise and, and uh, help take care of the elderly and do all of these things. Let us have a great empathy for, for that. And, and again, uh, let us just remember, hey, I'm going to be like the psalmist. I will yet worship and praise God. Amen. Hey, my friends, look, we, we, it's great to be along with you again. Yes. I want to thank you. And through our word, we continue to grow yes. in the word. Amen. So we get our meaning and our purpose from the ancient scriptures of the Bible. So that's why we call it back to the scriptures. So thank you again for being along with us. And Amen. thank you, doctor. And, and, and look, you know, Godspeed to everyone out there. And still let us be very careful because people try to have reason not to follow the rules. And yes. sometimes people say, well, I don't want to just listen to the news all the time. Well, that's okay if you don't listen all the time. But we need to listen enough so we are educated to yes. what is definitely out there before us and how we should really take care of ourselves and do the best that we can. We should we should do that. Yes. And especially we've been told that people who have these uh, underlines of medical problems, mm -hmm. these kind of things, look, you got to stay in the house. You yes. know, you know, you know myself, I'm up in the age now and there's things I have to deal with. I don't put it on the sign boat, but look, you know, you know what you got to deal with. You know, huh? Amen. so we have to not go out there and be hard-headed and we got to do what we need to do. Stay in the house. If you don't have to go out, stay in the house and encourage others to stay in the house if we don't have to go out. Amen. Be blessed, my friends, and thank you all for the support yes. of everything. And God bless you. And um, and our evangelists send uh, love to everybody out there. I got a call for her that she uh, misses us, but she holding on and trusting in God. And you know we love one another. Yes. And you know we we miss one another. And uh, you know you pray for me, and I pray for you. And uh, just thank God for you, and be blessed. Well, I keep you all in prayer. God bless you.